What's up? <laughs> I don't know what that was. So, you are about to go into a studio session or you are about to go for your first live show or you're doing a, one of many shows and you need your voice to be in tip top condition. So what are you gonna do? Well, it first starts with your diet and instead of going over the foods that you should eat today, which honestly, there aren't really many foods that you can eat that are gonna really improve your voice. So instead, what we're gonna do is go over the foods that you shouldn't eat. So let's get into that. All right, so the first food that you have to avoid is dairy products. So cheese, I know cheese is so good, right? But you gotta avoid it. You gotta avoid milk. This is almond milk, but this was the best I could do. So you gotta avoid dairy products because it's gonna sound kind of gross, but you know, they tend to kind of cling to your throat. And the last thing you want to do when you're going up for that high note is have to, you know, <clears throat> it's definitely not very cute when you're going up for that. <laughs> and if you're like me and you're lactose intolerant, then you definitely have to avoid dairy products. <laughs> the next food that you have to avoid is processed sugars. Dun, dun, dun. Avoid them because they're going to give you a crash. They might like boost you up for a little bit. You eat that, you know, Hershey's bar or whatever. They'll boost you up for a little bit, but then you know, like 20 minutes into your set or 20 minutes into your recording session, you're going to come crashing back down. It's not a very good source of energy and I definitely recommend you have got to stay away from the processed sugars. <laughs> Next food that you have to avoid, and honestly, I'm really sad about this because I love, I love caffeine. I love my coffee in the morning, but you have to avoid it before you are going uh, to sing because what it does is it dehydrates you, dries you out, and it's gonna kind of constrict. It'll constrict your voice. You're not gonna have the best tone. Now, I will say that sometimes when I'm in the studio, I'll drink some coffee if I wanna get a raspy, if I wanna get a raspy voice or kind of a raspier tone, um, I will drink coffee. So that's the one kind of caveat to that. If you guys want that kind of tone, maybe coffee's for you, I don't know. But in general, definitely avoid anything with caffeine, anything with coffee in it, which no, I love coffee. Do you guys like coffee as much as I like coffee? Guys, I love coffee, so I'm, I'm honestly really sad about that, but gotta avoid it. The next food I'm really sad we have to avoid is chocolate. I love chocolate, y'all. Are you kidding me? But look, this, this, this guy is a triple threat right here because, you know, not only does it have caffeine in it, so it's gonna dry you out and it's gonna constrict uh, the muscles in your throat, but it's also an acid reflux trigger. And so for me, I can get acid reflux pretty easy. And so I have to stay away from a lot of chocolate uh, before a show or before I go to sing in the studio. And you should probably too. The next food we have to stay away from is fried foods. I know, fried foods are so good. I actually have a funny story. This is like a couple years back. We had a show and right before we all went to go eat, I think it was like Bush's chicken or something. And we just got all this fried chicken and it was, Oh, it was so good, but oh my gosh, when I went for the show and I was singing, y'all, I was like holding back so many burps. It was disgusting. Um, it was not good and it was a really bad performance. <laughs> After that moment, I was like, okay, staying away from the fight, blah, staying away from... <laughs> as soon as this camera comes on, I can't talk. I, it's crazy. I don't understand, but you got to stay away from the fried foods. Yeah, okay, let's go to the next one. <laughs> so the next thing you have to avoid is ice water. Um, and water, room temperature water, is actually great. You do wanna drink room temperature water, but when it comes to ice water, ice water is gonna constrict your voice and you're gonna lose a lot of the flexibility that you could have. You also wanna avoid like overly hot water. Um, you know, the best thing to do would be to find like, just like, just get lukewarm water. Get like a water bottle, lukewarm, that's perfect. All right, so the next food, or I guess this is a drink that you wanna avoid is soda. I have no idea, I guess this is ginger ale. I don't drink much soda, but you definitely wanna avoid soda. It's got a ton of sugar and it's also carbonated, which is going to constrict your voice and is gonna make you wanna burp. And again, that is not cute when we're going for a performance, when we're singing, when we're singing into that mic, you do not want some burps coming up. Stay away from soda. The final food we have to avoid is anything spicy. So like, I, I love Chinese food, but I have to stay away from it before I'm about to play a show or sing in the studio. When you eat spicy foods and then you're going and jumping around on stage, you're probably gonna get heartburn and nobody wants heartburn when you're performing a show or even in the studio. I mean, I think it's just best to, to stay on the safe side and stay away from anything spicy. All right guys, those are some of the foods that you have to avoid before going to sing a show or going to sing in the studio. 
Hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment with anything else, any kind of video ideas, any topics you'd like me to do these little vlogs on. From myself and my beautiful dog, TJ. Can you see him? I don't know if you can see him there. He's like laying down right there. We love you and we will see you soon. Peace.